Yo, what's up, swag? You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lai, a.k.a. KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, we about to react to the NBA moments that turn into me. Memes. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and let's get into the reaction. Y'all see my little shirt, too, bro? I think I might keep it, bro. I ain't gonna lie, when I get kind of, when I get rich or whatever, I'm, I'm gonna take it out. But for right now, I think I kind of like, you know, you know, some girls tell me that it looks cute. <laughs> Let's get into the reaction. Yeah. This meme, or this one, or this one, and wondered, what's the story behind this meme? Like like how did fucked. this happen? Well, these he's are the NBA like he's moments from the back. that turned into back. memes. And Rajon Rondo came through with one of the weirdest memes I've ever seen. Back what? in 2019, Rajon Rondo decided to confess his love to Luka Doncic. And what? it got memed. Yeah, it was a game between the Mavs and the Lakers. And my man Luka was putting on a show. This man was hitting dunks, step back threes, 360 Ooh. no scoping dudes off the court. He was Ooh. on fire. And right when Luka walked past Rajon Rondo, a meme was born. Oh. Doncic, 25 points, eight boards, 10 assists, and he had 16 of the 25 points in the third quarter. What the hell? I guess there's nothing weird about that. It's just Rondo looking. Look at how to do that. Holy sh Did you see the way that he looked at his ass? Rondo wanted to tap that. No question. He and wanted to hit it what? from the back. Twitter turned this into one of the biggest memes I've he ever seen. He wanted to hit it from the back. Yeah. That's what you get, Rondo. All right, hold on. Let me be honest. Can, can you really blame Rondo? I mean, come on. Who who hasn't checked out Luca? What? Mm. Just, just me and Rondo? That's it? Screw you guys. Whatever. At least got a fat ass Rondo dude? Does he only got him? Does he have a fat ass? Embarrassed from his meme. It's not Is like someone. He's just a tall dude. Tried he probably don't have no ass. End his just, career. I don't know. Because for James Harden, he almost went blind, and it became a meme. It was the Ooh. 2019 playoffs. Ooh. Harden's Rockets were facing the Warriors. Warriors. In game two, Draymond Green took things too far. Oh! Don't watch it again. Oh! Oh! Ugh. Draymond's finger went inside Harden's eyeballs. This man just oh. had both of his eyes poked out, his eyelids cut, and he was an inch away from going completely blind. Ugh. Just look at that fingerprint. Damn. Disgusting. And then Twitter had to go make it worse, turning this man into a meme. They're out here saying, oh, this man looks high. Oh, he's crying about girls. Ridiculous. Wow. This man's a soldier. He kept on playing after this. Show wow. Harden some respect. Jesus. Yeah, Harden got roasted on Twitter, but... At least he didn't get roasted by an NBA legend on live TV. Because that's Ooh. what happened to Donovan Mitchell. But Donovan took that roast and turned it into a meme. Back in January 2021, the Utah Jazz were on a six-game winning streak. But for, real? for one NBA legend, that still wasn't enough. Because after Donovan dropped 36 points and a comeback win against New Orleans, Shaq tried to embarrass him on live TV. Really? I said tonight that... What? Uh, you are one of my favorite players, but you don't have what it takes to get to the next level. I said it on purpose. I wanted you to hear it. What oh. do you have to say about that? But it turns out... Wow. Donovan didn't care what Shaq had to say. And literally one word is all it took for a viral meme to be born. What do you have to say about that? All right. That's it. <laughs> that's it? All right, that's it. Okay, cool. That's all it took. Wow. Five letters. And that turned into one of the biggest memes of the season. And really? Twitter, they let Shaq hear it. It was showing Donovan the love he deserved. And people even started making t-shirts with Ide on them. But... 
Damn. Not every meme has to come from some disrespectful moment. Sometimes KD and his hair are there. born his head. from a beautiful moment. Back in 2014, Kevin Durant had the best year of his career. And he, he won MVP over LeBron James. He did. So during KD's acceptance speech, he started thanking everyone who helped him along the way. Okay. And that's when on live TV, KD says this. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to look back to what brought me here. And you wake me up in the middle of the night in the summer times, making me run up a hill, making me do push-ups, screaming at me from the sideline of my games at eight or nine years old. We wasn't supposed to be here. You made us believe. You kept us off the street. Put clothes on our backs, food on the table. When you didn't eat, you made sure we ate. You went to sleep hungry. You sacrificed for us. <laughs> Damn, Katie, man. It's supposed to be a happy moment. I know. Uh, it was the next words that came out of Katie's mouth. Mama crying. That turned into one of the Damn. biggest memes. In NBA history. Really? You the real MVP. <laughs> he said his father real MVP. <laughs> <laughs> you the real MVP. <laughs> this shit's beautiful. Oh, that's that's a beautiful moment, man. <laughs> this this real MVP moment instantly went viral. I'm talking millions of views on YouTube, thousands of memes, and you know Twitter, man. They took this beautiful moment and turned it into jokes like these. Disrespectful, man. I'm over here crying, and you making jokes about this? Man, Katie's the real MVP for dealing with all these memes. But man. the only reason KD could deal with all of these memes is his old teammate, Draymond Green. In <laughs> fact, Draymond helped KD so much, it became its own meme. It was game one of the 2017 NBA playoffs. Okay. Blazers versus Warriors. Ooh. Kevin Durant looked kind of out of it, like he didn't believe in himself. But this is the playoffs, what everyone worked all year for. Draymond wasn't going to let his teammate go out there like that. So before the game, Camera zoomed in at the perfect moment, catching Draymond in the. Join the conversation what? on this season of Glad You Asked. Watch now, only on YouTube. The middle of motivating KD. This moment not only became a hilarious meme, but it motivated Durant to carry the Warriors to a 121-109 win. With Durant dropping 32 points. Mm. Damn. And I've seen a lot of people speculate on what exactly Draymond was saying to KD here. And lucky for you guys, I'm a master lip reader, all right? Yeah. I know exactly what Draymond said. He was telling KD, you need to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's right. Draymond knows how motivational rebound is. And guess what? If you drop a like and subscribe, you could be a champion too. So what are you doing? But anyways, this speech to KD went mega viral. Like one guy tweeted the gif and had over 70,000 retweets. Another wow. guy had a professional painting of this moment done. Damn, look at Draymond, man. So inspirational. But wow. you want to know who's really inspirational? Michael Jordan. And if you don't think he's inspirational, then Jordan's taking that personally. That's all I needed for him wow. to do that. And it, it became personal with me. All right, we've all seen it, but what exactly is it that Jordan took personally? Well, yeah. in his documentary, The Last Dance, he started talking about all the times that he felt disrespected. And there was one moment that really bothered him. Back in 1996, okay. him and the Bulls were about to face the Supersonics in the finals. Wow. And that is when this happened. During the finals, we go out to dinner one night. George Carl's over on the other side, having dinner. Hey, there's George Carl over there. And George Carl does not come over and speak to him. He walks right past me. And I look at him, I say, really? 
Oh, so that's how you're going to play it. You know, he just kind of went by, and I went, uh-oh. Should have never done that. I said, it's a crock of shit. Should have never done that. Carolina. You know Dean Smith. You got to see him in the summer. We play golf. You going to do this? Okay, fine. That's all I needed. That's all I needed for him to do that. And it, it became personal with me. Wow. You're going to disrespect the GOAT like that? What the hell are you thinking? That's why MJ embarrassed George Carl in the finals and collected his fourth ring. And Damn. all these years later, Jordan is still getting the last laugh, making George relive this moment forever with Damn. a legendary me. That's what happens when Jordan takes it personally. But Jordan isn't the only player out here embarrassing people. Because when you got a guy like Russell Westbrook, embarrassing memes are bound to happen. Back in 2013, Russell Westbrook's thunder got blown out by the Jazz. And, I mean, we all know Russ is an emotional guy, so he was pretty upset after losing. So, after the game, when he got in front of some microphones and was answering questions, mm -hmm. you'd think reporters would know better than to ask some stupid-ass question, right? Well, one reporter didn't know better, and, uh, oh, he accidentally yeah. created one of the greatest memes I've ever seen. Yeah. Russ, listen, you guys lose this game or did the Jazz win this one? What? Bro, what are you talking about, talking man? about, man? Let's go back to that one. Created one of that the greatest one of the memes, memes I've ever seen. Russ, did you guys lose this game or did the Jazz win this one? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Bro, I'm out, man. I'm tripping. I feel you, Westbrook. I don't know what the f that reporter was talking about. That man is smoking rocks. I'm just saying. But this meme is historic, right? It should be in a museum or something. I I'm not <laughs> sure if a meme could get more legendary than this one. The only way you could have a more legendary meme is if you had a more legendary player, like Shaquille O'Neal. And here, Ooh. man, take some sunscreen. Because, uh, this section's about to get hot. Ooh. Every time Shaq opens his mouth, a new meme is born. Like back in 2017, Shaq decided to put his money where his mouth is when the Inside the NBA boys brought out the world's hottest chip. Oh, I mean, we know Shaq. He's not going to back down from a potato chip. Chuck, I bet you $20 I'll buy the chip won't even make a face. Bet. Without making a face. Don't worry, no, yet. don't worry yet, brother. You must not know what fraternity I'm in. Tell him, man. What fraternity are you in? Omega Psi Phi. Till we die. There's nothing to me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Is that a little. <laughs> I'm not making a face, bro. I'm just, I'm not, I'm just coughing. I'm not making a face. That, that I'm just coughing. That counts as a face. I'm not making a Ernie, I'm coughing. I know when you go. Ernie, I'm coughing. Yeah, this should be making a face. Like, uh, I'm not making a face. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Somebody got some milk? <laughs> You know what, Shaq? I'm proud of you, all right? I, I wouldn't have ate that chip. I'm not an idiot, but pro props to Shaq. Now, you'd think Shaq would have learned his lesson, but <laughs> just two years later, he made the same mistake, but even worse. What? Shaq decided to go on the show Hot Ones. You know, the show where did Sean Evans interviews you and you eat a bunch of hot wings and nobody can eat the wings because they're too hot. Well, guess what? Shaq thought that this time, the narrative was going to change. This time, he guaranteed he would not make a face. Wow. And guess what happened? <clears throat> Still no face. Ah. <sighs> oh, my God. He He's made out. a face. This guy's guarantees are worth nothing. And not only did he make a face... He created another viral meme. <laughs> Jesus, man. The only person I know that's made more memes than Shaq is LaMelo Ball. And that's just ridiculous, because he's brand new to the NBA. But it's true. I mean, a new GIF was made pretty much every time he was on his reality show, Ball <laughs> and the Family. 
and it's not even his fault. Even announcers and games are going crazy for everything LaMelo does. It's good Damn. to the point that people are making parodies of it. LaMelo bringing up the ball. He swings it to the right. Terry looks to shoot on two people, and he does it. But that pass from LaMelo, ridiculous. Absolutely amazing. Oh, we got to see that again. Oh, that pass. Oh, that's something. This kid is something, man. Literally every person on planet Earth has been praising LaMelo Ball, but he's injured now. And uh, a sports Damn. center ESPN, they're, they're starting to panic a little bit. They're running Damn. out of ideas without LaMelo. I mean, what the hell is this? They got Fortnite, a uh, random ass little kitty hoop. Is that a giraffe eating Shaq? What, what is this? They're, they're just out of content. This man doesn't even have to play or be in the public spotlight to become a meme. It's just ridiculous. Damn. But you want to know what else is ridiculous? The fact that NBA players are working normal jobs now. Yeah. Damn. We've seen James Harden at Walmart, LeBron delivering pizzas, KD doing construction. It is insane. Damn. Oh, you want to hear more about that? Well, click on this video right here. That's crazy, man. Anyways, man, make sure you comment, subscribe. I love you guys. You guys stay sweat. I will see you guys in the next.